right? What we're hoping to do today is to show you you can make boro marbles on your miner burner with one 5 litre oxycon. So the idea of this is to say that you know you've got the gear at home, you've got the miner burner, you've got the alpha burner, you've got one 5 litre. And although you're a little bit worried about working with boro silicate because you believe it needs extra power and extra strength, there's quite a lot you can do with boro. So this is 7mm boro rod, just clear. We're going to melt it in the middle, push it together, form a little, almost like a, a lollipop and flatten it off to ball paddle. And this marble will be just a small colour twist marble. So very easy to do. So the thing to remember about the boro is that it just takes a little bit longer to melt. So with the soft glass, you put it in the flame and 15, 20, 25 seconds later, the glass is molten. With boro, just expect it to be 30 seconds, 40 seconds to get it to that treacle point to get it moving. So as you can see, it's just formed like a little lollipop shape now. We're going to melt this up, get it nice and hot, and then with just a normal pair of mashers, flatten that into a lollipop shape. And then as you always do when you use tools, just flame polish the shrinkage marks, so you get little fingerprint shrink marks off the tools, whether they're brass, less off graphite and carbon. But just flame polish those off to give a nice finish. And then starting with the first colour, which is a really dark cobalt blue. Just keep the paddle warm. Heat the end of the cobalt blue. I'm going to tip the tip off just because where it cracked off there might be some there bubbles which will uh, not look good in the marble so we get rid of those. And again, just heating the tip of the cobalt blue, squash that onto the one side of the paddle, go on the other side. start to heat it through and expect this to be a good couple of minutes just to get it nice and warm and then we're going to flatten it down with the mashes again out of the flame paddle it mash it Loads of ways you can make a marble, loads of ways you can make, make a colour twist marble. This is just a quick and easy way of doing it. So this is Asian white. And I'm just going to put a smaller dot in the centre of the dark blue dots. Remember again just to flame polish it with shrinkage marks off. This time we'll finish with a little bit of yellow, like primrose yellow in the centre, final coloured dot. So this just goes to show you that you don't need to have whopping great with Bravo and champion torches or even mid ranges. The mid range is the, the smaller torch. You don't need to have oxygen cylinders, you don't need to have 10 litre oxycon. If you just want to have a double, there's no reason why you can't with your minor burner and a 5 litre oxycon. So just warm these two last primrose yellow dots up and again flatten these down. And then again take the little shrink marks off or the tilting marks off. And then we need to heat up a bit of clear and we're just going to put a lump of clear over each side. Again, this is going to take a couple of minutes.
And what you'll find is the making of the marble, the design of the marble, the pattern of the marble is always pretty quick. Sort of two, five, ten minute job to do, depending on the size you're working on. Shaping of the marble is when you, you take the time. That can take anything up to 40 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half to get the world's most roundest marble. And you don't want a marble with a flat spot on. And again, just over the colour this time, do your dots up clear. And then start to heat up more clear. Don't worry too much about putting the glass directly in the flame from coal because it's borosilicate, so it can crack, it can splinter, it can, little shards can jump off, but it's quite rare that Boro does that. And also, the advantage is that part finished pieces, you can put them down on your worktop, leave them to go cold, come back to them an hour later, come back to them a day later. As long as you take a little bit of time reheating them, you should be alright. There's no need to kill them work as it's half finished. When you finish the work it still needs to go in the kiln. So now we're going to start to melt everything together. And then just get the end for another piece of clear. So this would be almost like a ponte. And just tap that on. And then as we're melting it now, once it starts being nice and nice and hot, you can start putting a little twist in it. So I always tend to find I end up twisting with my left hand and, and stopping the rod with the right hand. clear on the end and just push that in if you want to make the marble a little bit bigger. And so it's starting to form a little bit of a round shape now. Turn the oxygen up a little bit, turn the oxygen up. And you need a fair amount of heat in this because what we're going to do is now use the, the mini monster marble mold, which is just down to our left here. And you don't, remember you don't need to get the marble to fit it out exactly in one marble mold because you can use the rims of a slightly smaller one to get the perfect round shape. So you don't need to make it to these sizes, to the five, to the, to the five sizes you've got. So it's starting to get nice and hot now, so we'll roll it in one of the moulds. And again, back to the flame. I'm using a smaller mould, smaller size mould, just rolling it across the rim of it. You can see how it starts to round it over. There's still quite a few creases we're going to melt out. You only, once you come out the flame, you only get about five to ten seconds of time where you can mould it, you can stretch it, you can roll it before the glass starts to go hard again. And again that's just part of the Boro sort of uh, trip that you're going to have, the learning experience of Boro is that what we call the poise period is, is shorter than soft glass. So with soft glass you have 15-20 seconds to melt the glass and, and shape and stretch and stretch it. Where Boro is very much reduced down to about 10 seconds, 5 or 10 seconds. And again, just using the, the rim of the smaller of the moulds. So you can see how small the mould is compared to the marble. You're just using the edge. And then with another 
little bit of clear, you can use this as a ponte. Just start to heat. You're not going to make a, a, a tight seal, you're not going to make a, a heat seal. You're going to make what we call a cold seal. So just keep the marble warm, keep the ponte warm. Join the two together. It's a fragile seal, so you don't want to be throwing it around and, and throwing it into the mold or anything. Just be a bit more gentle with it now because it can crack off the seal quite easily. And now concentrate on the southern oil board to the side, to the left hand side. We're going to take this off. Start to heat this through again. Again, roll this through the marble mold, one of the bigger ones. So it's finally starting to take a nice shape. It's getting as round as you can sort of get it for the time being. Just to get a lot more heat into it though. Again, back to the smaller of the moulds, and you can feel when it's not perfectly round because you can feel it sort of lumping and, and twisting against the, the edge of the mould. on it uh, when it starts to chill quickly. So just imagine this is like a fire polish you put onto the, the marble. And then just out of the flame and leave it out of the flame for 30 seconds until the orange glow starts to disappear. Another little point to remember of this is with the Boro, when you first start out with Boro, use your normal ACE 202 glasses and you should be fine with those just for protection. Now put it back on the marble mould and just give it a little knock at the back of the tweezers. And that should knock off your, your cold seal. And then use the marble mould as a handle. And so I'm going to roll that little piece there which is where the cold seal was. There's a little mark there so now I'll roll it into the flame. again just to make sure it's nice and round. And that is your little marble, your little colour ball of marble. So it's got dark blue, white and lemon yellow swirl running through it. And then you do that and you'll be able to take it to school and play marbles in the air.